Fishing around these parts is something of an obsession, but as we made our way out through the breakers, catching tarpon was the last thing on my mind. I was feeling seasick and worried because there were sharks out there. Robert, the lodge's fishing guide, calmed my nerves and showed me how to prepare the lure. And unbelievably, almost before the hook hit the water, I had a bite. Beginner's luck, I wonder? Oh, we jump. Right. Out of the kick. Yeah, okay, keep it up again. Oh. Right. You can come and sit in your chair. Get in the chair. So do I now? You hold here with this, with this hand. Okay. With this hand, you gotta hold over here. Robert talked me through the struggle ahead, and quite a battle it proved to be. Tarpon flesh is very bony, which means they can easily be lip-gaffed and then released into the water, so that very few are actually killed or hurt. The benefit of this is that the money brought in by foreign anglers like me means that the local fishermen can afford to stop gill nessing, an indiscriminate catch-all process that had been seriously depleting local fish stocks. Mind you, for somebody a bit squeamish, I was quite surprised by how macho I'd suddenly become. It was either me or that there tarpon. The tarpon weighed in at about 85 pounds, and it certainly felt like it. That's about... Laura. <laughs> wow. That's I think uh, Got him. Yeah, I got him. 